Saad Jebar is with me now to talk more about the capture of Saif al-Islam. Um, Mr Jebar is an international lawyer and analyst on North African issues. Um, first of all, sir, can we talk about the fact that the Zintan Brigade are saying we won't hand him over now until there is due process in place. The National Transition Council is saying we'll definitely try him in Libya. The Chief Prosecutor of the ICC is now flying to Tripoli. There are all these different pressures and pulls. What do you see happening in the coming days and weeks? Do you think he'll stay in Zintan? Well, I hope so, because if this brigade is in charge of Zentan area, they would be under obligation to, uh, to, keep, uh, to, to, to guarantee the safety of safe Islam. And what is interesting is that one of the military faces of the rebels, whom I saw on television there, he was living in Cardiff in the United Kingdom for some, for some years, and he belonged before that to the uh, Libyan fighting force. And the, when the revolution started, he wanted to join the, the rebels in Zentan, they rejected him, but he went on and set up his own military unit. And maybe that person, that very person, mediated, um, the, 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 let's say, the, uh, for safe to hand himself over so and guaranteed his own, he gave him guarantees that he will be safe and he will not be given. He wouldn't be killed. So you yeah. think there was actually some sort of negotiation, somebody mediating to capture him, that they didn't actually come across him by chance, that something actually, there was some possible person in between negotiating? All signals point towards that direction. I'm sure this is the case. As for the international prosecutor, I'm happy that he's involved because that means he will try to help the central authorities in Libya to, to set up some you know, sort of justice for, for safe Islam, and they will not allow Saddam Hussein's trial to be repeated in Libya. And that will take a long time to happen, considering that we don't have a government now, the National uh, Council is still very weak, and there is no credible central power yet. And the priorities, even when there is a central power, credible one, the priorities of the Libyan people are so paramount in other areas, from utilities to security to, uh, to weapons and so on. So the trial will be, however attractive and, 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 uh, and psychologically and politically it may seem, but it will be something which will not happen next month and, and even not, not next year. Can I ask you if you have any insight into all this talk there was about Saif al-Islam talking between a negotiator and mediator with the ICC um, weeks ago, that possibly he may well give himself up to the ICC if they gave him promises, if they made sure that he would be uh, treated in a certain way. Did you hear why that, that failed? Well, considering that we were told today that he was injured a month ago, maybe that was the case. And if I were safe, I would have negotiated a way out in order to be tried by the International Criminal Court, which would guarantee the minimum standards of fairness and justice, and the death penalty doesn't exist in that system, which in Libya I'm afraid it does. So it will be easier for safe, it will be more honorable and it will give him more dignity or he will treat, be treated like Milosovic and others. In, you know, it will be any way will be better than the way he will be treated by the Libyans because after 40 years we don't have really any culture of the independence of judiciary or any sort of credible due process. This is a go going to be a difficult task because Libya will be watched internationally and also locally has how to proceed in the future in terms of due process and fairness and justice. And on that due process, what indeed will he be charged with? Um, Luis Moreno Campo um, said some time ago they had evidence he was critically important in organising the killing of civilians. Will that kind of evidence be amassed now in Libya? Will there actually be a prosecution, do you think? Maybe the chief prosecutor of the ICC could help in that regard? Well, I think they could, they could help the Libyans to set up justice from the scratch. The judiciary is non-existent. That culture of independence is non-existent. And in Libya, you will hardly find one person who will be neutral. Either you are against Gaddafi or with Gaddafi. It's exactly the same scenario which exists in the, in, in the Iraqi uh, uh, you know, context.